Last time we cut the uh, mylar wing shape out, glued it down to MDF board, and then traced it so we can uh, create the shape of our uh, wing molds that we'll use to make uh, uh, wing ribs out of. And then today, Caleb. Yeah, today we are starting out by using a bandsaw to cut. Uh, we've got our lines traced on here. So we do a rough cut with the bandsaw, get it to within maybe a quarter inch of the line. Mm. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a sander to sand right up to the line. Uh, but what's, what we're also gonna do is instead of sanding it 90 degrees to the surface, it's not gonna be a, a nice straight corner. Um, it's actually going to be set back a little bit. So along the edge here, it's actually going to be angled in. And what that's gonna let us do is we're gonna use these forms to bend aluminum around them to make our ribs. But if it's just 90 degrees, Aluminum metal always wants to spring back a little bit. So what we're going to have to do is actually bend it to about 95 degrees. And then when it springs back a little bit, we'll be right at that nice clean 90. So we've got our first one kind of rough cut out. We'll touch it up a little bit. We'll go do the other ones and then we'll start sanding. Okay, so we're getting ready to sand down uh, that five degree pitch on our first leading edge. And the problem is, is to get that five degree pitch, there's, it's, you know, it's really hard to tell, you know, what's five or six degrees. So, Caleb and I used technology. Um, there it is. Our two smartphones. My iPhone and his, you know, something else. Um, but what we did is we calibrated it there. You know, just right on top. Um, in fact, I'll do it again. So, calibrate it there. And then we pulled it down here to see what the pitch is. And, uh... And we're both getting about the same. I'm actually getting a little. And I'm getting 3.4, and you're getting three or four. So that's the pitch. So we want to get about five or six, right? Right. So let's do it a little more, and we'll uh, we'll get it down to a man. Look at that. That's technology for you. That's home building in the 21st century. How could they ever do this without iPhones? <laughs> Seriously. Thank you, Steve Jobs, for helping us build our airplane. And Google and Android. Yes, them too. Yeah, yeah. So, we finished sanding out, you know, that five degree, you know, angle, which you might be able to see it there. Uh, we finished sanding out and we got our right wing. Uh, which flanges away from the uh, fuselage. Um, however, what we didn't realize was we marked the same side for the left wing, which means if you, you know, uh, sand it the other way, it's, you actually need a line on the other side. So what we had to do, since we didn't flip the mylar over, note to self, we'll do that next time, um, we actually traced around this one onto the back side of our second wing. So now we have have it on this side and we can use that to sand away for the left wing but now since you don't want to uh, bend metal over a sharp edge because it will actually crack uh, we have this little uh, what do you call it router a little router a little edge get it down to a uh, what was a 1 8 radius 16 a 16th radius which is the same as a 1 8 drill bit um, so we just basically want to round off that corner so when you bend metal around it it's got a round edge, not a real sharp edge. So now it has a, uh, a rounded edge on it so we can bend metal over it and uh, without hopefully cracking the, uh, the metal. Okay, well we've put about three hours in today and uh, made good progress. We didn't get as much done as we hoped for, but uh, that seems to be a trend. And we took our time, we made sure we did it right, and uh, we feel good about what we did. So we finished the right wing mold. Uh, we cut it out, sanded it down, even got the, uh, the, edge routed. the little edge softened out so we can bend metal. So it's completely done. Next time we'll do the left wing. And uh, I really enjoyed the sanding part today. That was my favorite. I've uh, never worked with a disc sander, so that was fun. And we also, the, today was the first trial of the head cam. Yes, there is the head cam right there. 
and this goes down to a uh, a pack there that streams up to an antenna there which goes down to the laptop there so people at home can watch live here's the uh, the live footage right now there's me filming the uh, camera so uh, good day and uh, I wish we could keep going but I told the family I'd be home by 2 so I have 15 minutes to clean up shop and get home <laughs> let's go let's go